To be the fastest athlete in any event is rare, but to hold a world record for 22 years in one of the most competitive events in track and field, well, that's practically impossible. On July 14th of 1998, the great Hisham El Garouj from Morocco broke the 1500 meter world record with a staggering time of 3 minutes 26.00 seconds. This is the equivalent to running each lap of the track in an average time of 54.8 seconds. This one performance marked a very impressive milestone as this was the first and only time that any runner has averaged under 55 seconds per lap for the 1500 meters. This time also broke the previous world record by well over a second, and as of 2020, only two athletes have ever been within one second of this unbelievable world record. In an article published by World Athletics the day of the race, reporter Sean Wallace called this moment the perfect race. And the more that I researched into this 1500 meter race, it's difficult to not call this moment the perfect race. The pacing, the rhythm, the astounding final lap, this race had absolutely everything, and up front by a huge margin over a world-class field was El Garouge. But just how did he achieve this time, and why has nobody been able to break this historic mark for over two decades? Now there's a few reasons why this performance has stood the test of time, but perhaps the most important is El Garouge himself. This guy was fast. For the previous two seasons, he was easily the fastest 1500 meter runner in the world, maintaining an undefeated streak since August of 1996. This streak included a compelling win at the 1997 World Championships, and during that same year, he broke two indoor world records, one in the mile and another in the 1500. At just 21 years old, he had already firmly cemented himself as the world's best miler, and for the next seven years, he comfortably stayed on top of the middle distance world. To say that El Garouge was dominant would be an enormous understatement. Out of the 10 fastest times ever run in the 1500, he has seven of them. And incredibly, he also has the exact same racing history for the one mile distance, holding seven out of the top 10 performances ever. This racing background is completely unmatched and based on his times and his performances, both 98 and 99 were his best years, as he went undefeated in any race during both seasons. He also managed to break two more world records in 1999, both of which have also stood for over 20 years. Clearly, El Garouge was ready for this race, and with the help of his world-class pacers, which included the second fastest miler ever in Noah Nyeni, he had a real shot at taking down the record, which stood at 3 minutes 27.37 seconds. And speaking of pacers, this leads us to perhaps the most influential reason why this world record has stood for so long, and that reason is the pacing. Now, it's fairly simple for a pace setter to run a solid opening first lap, but to maintain the world record pace through two laps, or even three laps, requires tremendous focus. And on top of that, the actual athlete has to follow just behind at a very fast pace. Luckily for El Garouge, on this fateful night in July of 1998, this one race was as close to perfection as anyone has ever seen. Immediately after starting this 1500 meter race, both El Garouge and the pace setters sprinted out to a huge lead. Through the 400 meter mark, El Garouge split a time of 55.0 seconds, a perfectly executed first lap. At this point, the front two pace setters were actually running slightly quicker than was necessary, and as you can see, El Garouge was around 3 to 4 meters behind the two Kenyan pacers. This ability to properly gauge the necessary pace to run the world record is very impressive, and it's yet another reason why El Garouge was so dominant during his prime. Even if the pacers were running a little too quick, he had the discipline to stay focused and run his race. Through 800 meters, El Garouge and the pacers were continuing to distance themselves from the field, and as they passed through two laps in 1 minute 50.73 seconds, achieving the world record was still a very realistic possibility. Through 1200 meters, El Garouge split a time of 2 minutes 46.34 seconds, which was absolutely unbelievable. And even though he split through 3 laps in a very fast time, he immediately exploded down the back stretch, 
accelerating with incredible speed far ahead of his competitors. With 200 meters remaining, El Garouge was still on pace and he continued to stride away from the competition. Down the final home stretch, it became more and more apparent that this was El Garouge's time. This was the moment that would solidify his name as one of the all-time greats. With a finishing time of 3 minutes 26.00 seconds, he bettered the previous world record by over a second, and in this particular race, he won by almost 5 seconds over his closest competitor. On paper, this race was supposed to be somewhat of a battle between Daniel Komen and El Garouge, but as you can clearly see, this was no race at all. This was a moment of complete dominance. One of the most impressive segments of this performance was his final 300 meters, which he covered in 39.66 seconds, which is simply amazing. And given the fact that he had just run his first three laps in 2.46, this final burst of speed certainly deserves more recognition. Amazingly, after the race, El Garouge said that he believed he could run a 324. However, he was never able to make any improvements on this time. This world record has now remained unbroken for over 20 years. But unlike many other racing events on the track, athletes frequently attempt to break this world record. This makes this performance all the more impressive because even with technological advancements, new training techniques, and the powerful, continuous pursuit of world record glory, El Garouge's incredible time from 1998 still stands as the fastest 1500 meter moment of all time. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.